HD geometry and spotlight painting. In this clip, we're going to utilize HD geometry as well as spotlight to do some more painting on our Mother Drive character here. I'm just zooming in onto this butterfly here. I'm going to go ahead and subdivide it just to give it a bit more geometry to take our paint. Next, I'm just going to align my transpose tool as soon as I get it in view here. There we go. Just switch to the transpose, draw the line, and then I'm going to control click on one of these circles just to get it straightened up in the viewport a bit better okay that should do and control click the white circle and now we're going to work from this view angle here to make sure we don't have too much overlapping or weird angles when projecting here inside of the textures i went ahead and uploaded the blue butterfly within your project files I'm going to click the add to spotlight button. Now with spotlight open here, we have a bunch of options here to change a few things, such as the opacity of viewing it, viewing the texture. And I'm just clicking on the texture to move it into place here. Spotlight gives you a center point to utilize if you want. I set a little orange circle in the middle. And I'm just using a rotation to rotate it and the scale button there to scale it. I'm just clicking and rotating the dial in order to make those edits. Now I'm just trying to get a best approximate center. I'm going to click the nudge feature here and sizing my brush up nice and large. I'm just going to nudge the texture in order to encompass the geometry of the butterfly here. So I'm just pushing and pulling, occasionally changing my brush size in order to fit the fit the area here. More often I'll be using a large brush in order to make uh, subtle large changes or large changes with least distortion I should say. For a moment I switched out to my regular brush and changed the focal setting in order to get a smoother edge. So I bigger brush here just pushing things around it's very similar to the use of the liquify tool in Photoshop just nudging this texture around now I'm going to use a smaller brush just to distort this area without affecting the wings too much just continue to push I'm gonna to try to get this head best to cover this but not too worried about it now this is a great method, especially for texturing small pieces that you want to texture very quickly and not too worried about doing a lot of detailing on it. So this butterfly is a perfect use, especially for this nudging method here. But that's not to say that you can't use Spotlight to do some quality, high detail projections. Just make sure you have the geometry and the texture to support it. Okay, just about done here. I'm just doing some last edits on this here wing. Just nudging, trying to get most of the vital parts lined up with our geometry here. It's the goal. Continue to push, make sure you look over it, make sure you're not missing any areas. So we don't have to do too much cleanup once we're done here. All right, I think we're just about done with that. Next, I'm going to go ahead and grab a brush in order to project this onto our geometry. I'm going to use a draw brush and just click and drag and move all the way through the texture here. You can see it updating as we move. I should do it. I'm gonna go ahead and shift Z to get out of spotlight. And that's about it. A few touch ups to do here. I'm just gonna sample this color here and fill in. And we probably could have fixed this, undid it and nudged, but these are easy fixes here. 
come around to the back of the head here. And if you want, you could go ahead and add some geometry for antennas for the butterflies, but they're so small, it probably won't be seen. Go ahead and select this smoother brush, which is for smoothing just texture and not geometry. Just fill in this gap here. A few shades of black I'm sampling in gray. All right, just about done there. And that's one good way to do a quick and dirty but decent quality projection paint. We're going to use the same method on these flowers here. I'm going to go ahead and demo one of these. And I'll just go ahead and do the rest here. Just lining up my geometry. Now one good habit to do is to go into the draw menu. And navigate down to the camera area at the bottom and click store camera. Now keep in mind this only works with perspective turned on. I'm going to go ahead and name it camera. It's very easy to miss a stroke and rotate your model and screw up your whole positioning with spotlight. So it's a good habit to store cameras. So if you go ahead and click camera, we'll snap back to that view. I've uploaded the blue flower texture from your project files. I'm just going to go ahead and select it and click the add to spotlight button. Now with it in the scene, I'm just going to position it and Go ahead and rotate, click and drag to rotate. And next I'm going to move my gizmo off to the side here and just take a look at the texture and see what it needs. Go ahead and give it a bit of a scale to make sure it encompasses the geometry here. Move it off to the side again. And we won't or shouldn't need any nudging here. I'm going to go ahead and select the draw brush and next just simply drag my brush all the way around projecting that texture onto the flower here. Okay. Go ahead and zoom out see how things are looking. And now with that done I will go ahead and perform that to the rest of the flowers and we'll return once done to move on to another section. HD geometry allows you to subdivide a portion of your model high into the millions of polygons in order to do some detail sculpting as well as texture painting. I've uploaded this texture file inside of your project files here, just full of decals I created for use for this project. And I'm just centering this on this piece that's right underneath her chest. And we're just going to do a normal projection here before using HD geometry so that you can see the difference. Just going to get into position. And this piece has 2 million polygons on its current highest subdivision level here. And I'm going to use this paintbrush and just project that on to the surface like so. And just zoom in so you can see the quality on a 2 million poly model here. So it's a bit rough, good for a distance, but not good for up close. So now let's go ahead and navigate to the HD geometry in our tool palette here. I'm just going to navigate and find it right here. Open that. And next I'm going to click the divide HD button here. And that's going to go ahead and do the subdivision. But in order to actually use it, you have to press the A key on your keyboard and that will shift you into HD mode. And if you have radial ring selected over here, you'll get a ring showing you the area that you can sculpt or paint on. So now with HD geometry activated, we're gonna go ahead and use the app link combination. Hit drop now. And over in Photoshop with the file open, I'll just hit update. So now with this area, I'm going to click and drag the same logo or decal file from your project folder and center the graphic that I want in the viewport here, like so, using the transform. And next, I'm going to go ahead and rasterize the layer. I'm going to marquee it, invert my selection, and delete everything else. 
So next I'm going to go ahead and select the crop tool and go ahead and just crop the document. Just hit and enter. Next I'm going to scale down the graphic and get it into the preferred position here. Right in the center like so. Next I'm going to go ahead and change my layer blending mode for this to overlay. Let's navigate to that here and I'm just going to lower my opacity just a bit to about 91. Then we'll go ahead and merge that down to the layer one. Now you notice this doesn't have the mass such as our previous the app links, but that's fine. Just make sure it's merged to layer one and save and overwrite that file. Next, go back into ZBrush and click re-enter ZBrush. And we should see our projection and then click pick up now. So we're still in HD geometry mode. So we can zoom in and you'll see that radial ring still there. And you can see I have a much cleaner projection of our graphic here using the HD geometry. Now remember that pressing the A key will toggle Geometry HD on and off. And before we complete this subtool texture painting, I'm just going to go ahead and bring everything back on screen. Just sample that purple color, grab my draw brush, and with symmetry on, I'm just going to tweak my lazy radius as well as my focal shift and do a practice stroke here for this edging here. Let's try it again. Try to keep it a little bit neater here. Okay. Like so. Let's go ahead and zoom out. And let's go ahead and move on to another section. So I want to do some geometry HD on the cloth here. I'm just going to add an extra subdivision level. And I want to work with symmetry as well. So I'm just going to move these pieces close together and make sure not to intersect them. This way we can utilize HD geometry in one spot along with symmetry. Now that I have that centered up in the viewport, I'm just going to go ahead and do a bit of masking on each side of the cloth here. And I'm just dragging out the marquee to do that. Next, I'm going to go ahead and edit my brush size a bit here. And I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of masking by hand with the mask pen tool. Just make a nice small brush. And go ahead and extend it upward a bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the other side here. Just go ahead and tweak my focal shift a bit. And do the same there. Okay. Just about done with that little prep. So we're going to go ahead and find the Geometry HD tab here. Click Divide HD. I'm going to click it again for additional geometry. Next I'm going to go ahead and press the A key on the keyboard. Taking me into AC Geometry mode. I'm going to go ahead and grab this draw brush. And in the alphas, I've uploaded the shell pattern. And I'm just going to go ahead and select the drag rec for my stroke right here. And lastly, let's go ahead and set our color to a very, very light blue. So next, I'm going to click in the center position here and just drag it out onto the cloth pattern here. See I have some faded edges so let me go ahead and undo that. I'm going to go in and move my focal shift to get harder edges here and make sure it doesn't fade as we apply this. Okay I'm just dragging it out eyeball in the center and it's straightness and it's taking a little bit with the recording as well as with the HD geometry going on but getting some really clean results here which is what we want to clear my mask next I'm going to go ahead and zoom out you can see our radial area here I'm going to go ahead and hit the A key to exit out of AC geometry keep in mind it will take a while to hop in and out due to the amount of geometry you're using 
Next with symmetry on, I'm just gonna place those cloth back into their original position and get ready to move to another area here. Now on the back of the collar, I wanna perform a very same method here. I'm gonna go ahead and add an extra subdivision level for detail. And I'm just gonna center the area we want to paint on in the viewport. I'm gonna click divide HD. I'm gonna click it again and again to add extra, extra geometry here. Next, I'm gonna kind of find my center with symmetry on, then I'm gonna go ahead and press the A button on my keyboard. And you can see our area here. Next, with the same decals file loaded into Spotlight, I'm just gonna center this mother drive graphic here on the back of the collar, scale it up. Get it right into position. And once done, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off symmetry and click and drag in order to project the graphic onto the collar here. Make sure to watch it update. Make sure I fill the whole area. And next, I'm just gonna navigate around to see how it looks. Looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and press A to exit that and move on. Here on the backpack area here, we're going to do some more projecting in the center right underneath this triangle design here. Just added another subdivision level as well as divide HD. Just gonna zoom in to the area that we wanna project like so. I just use the size of my brush to kind of figure out the area and then press the A key to enter geometry HD and just kind of zoom in as close as I can and next center the graphic I want to use. This time I'll be using the blue version of this logo. Just center it up. Move my gizmo off to the side here. Now right now I'm using the cursors from my symmetry to make sure that it's centered. I'm just gonna reposition it just a bit. Check it again. Oh, that looks good. So next I'm gonna go ahead and use my draw brush to go ahead and project that onto the surface. Making sure to pay attention as the graphic changes in value as I move my cursor over it. So, and next I'm gonna go ahead and position this high voltage logo right below it. Just gonna scale it down and get it into position. Make sure to zoom in a bit closer, especially with smaller graphics to ensure that you're getting a good, good projection here. Okay, looks good. It's nice and centered. A little bit lower. All right, that's good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run over this. And then we're gonna exit out of Geometry HD. Keep in mind that when out of Geometry HD, it will degrade in quality. However, we can get it back when we set up our render settings later on in the course. Okay, let's go ahead and press A to exit out of Geometry HD. And you can see that effect where it is not as clean, but it's still there. Let's move on. I see we're gonna go ahead and project our last graphic here on this back padding area. Just making sure I have my mask cleared on the subtool. Zoom into the area that I want to project on using spotlight. Now I'm gonna go ahead and divide HD. This time I'm gonna go ahead and click it twice. Bring up my spotlight, pressing the Z key after my Geometry HD updates here. Okay. So pressing the A key, 
and now centering this warning logo here right in the middle I'm just going to take a moment to make sure I have it in a position I'm using my symmetry cursor dots to get it centered I'm just going to go ahead and project that onto the surface. Actually, let's go ahead and undo that just a moment here and zoom in. That was the one step I was forgetting. Go ahead and recenter this. Scale it up a bit and get it into position. I don't zoom in too far because I want to make sure it's the scale I want it and I kind of need to see some surrounding elements to make sure of that. Okay, just making sure it's centered. Let's go ahead and click and drag to project that on the surface. Like so. Let's go ahead and exit out of spotlight there. Zoom out and press A to exit geometry HD. That does conclude this clip. I will see you in the next.